Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an IG trading account. Let's get straight into it. Hi guys, any aka the not trader, your friendly neighborhood swing trader back again with another video. Remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and hit that alert button to get alerts on all my latest videos. I've got Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at the not trader on all social media platforms. If you check the description section below, you see a link to my mailing list and my chat room called Pip Talks. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an IG trading account. You know I'm always singing the praises of IG and it's the trading platform that I use for my trading. So I thought, let me go back, regress, and show you how to create an account. I've, sh I've already shown you how to create a um, the dashboard that I use on Pro Real Time, but I haven't shown you how to actually create the IG account because you need to create the IG account before you can set up Pro Real Time. Um, so let's get straight into it. So create a live account. I'd suggest creating a demo account if you've never traded before. I always say tr create a demo account first, practice with that, and then create a live account later once you've, you're a bit more confident. Because if you go straight to a live account, in my opinion, you're just going to lose money straight away because it's such such a steep learning curve when it comes to trading. Um, but for the um, interest of this video, I'm going to create a live account. So it's going to take you to this page and you're going to put in your details. I'm going to start entering. I'm not going to enter the details now but because I've already got an account. but Put your name, your email address, create a username that you want, create a password, um, wh whatever country you're in. And then what I would suggest personally, I always suggest creating a spread button and a share D in an account. If you want to create a CFD account, that's up to you. But I, I focus on um, spread button and, and, and share dealing. I actually don't really do much share dealing with my IG account, but I always feel it's good to have one anyway. Um, but I predominantly focus on spread betting. So these are the two I would create. You can always create a CFD account later on, but um, these are the two that I would focus on. And then you click next. So basically I've created an, uh, a fake profile guy called Bob. Um, now, once you fill the first page out, you'll get sent to personal details page where you ask, they'll ask for your date of birth, your uh, phone number, um, whether you're a tax resident of the UK. So um, I say yes. Where you are tax residents of anywhere other than the UK. So actually, um, that's a no from me. Um, how would you like to receive your statements? So that like, you could choose whether you want to get it by post or by email. And uh, what country of nationality? Now you put your country of nationality and then you put, are you a national of any other country? So for me, I put no. And if you put no, then it prompts you to um, provide your UK national insurance number. So that's for people in the UK. I don't know about what information it gives if you're from other countries, but for the UK, you'd have to enter your national insurance number just um, here. So um, yeah. So on to the next slide, they ask you for your uh, address details. Once again, I want to fill this in, then move on. Um, so I don't show you the information. So now we get onto the financial details uh, page. Now, the first question they ask you is your annual income. So if your annual income is under 50,000, so if you either put under 225,000 or under uh, 50,000, so between 25,000 and 50,000, they're gonna, it's gonna give you a warning on here saying your income does not meet our internal criteria. So it will not let you get any further in the application process if your incomes, if you put that your income's under 50,000. Now I'm not telling you to lie, but it does not allow you to go any further if you put your incomes under 50,000. So I am not telling you to lie, but it does not allow you to go any further that's all i'm saying wink wink i've not told anyone to lie yeah so i put my income over fifty thousand because i'm this isn't my income anyway this is a fake profile i'm creating so um and then i put my savings is um twenty five thousand um i'm gonna put that i'm employed and um and then i put my employee status is that i'm employed and then um, I think you don't need to put your occupation in the industry. Actually, you do. You need to put your occupation in the industry there. So I'm going to fill this out and then I'm going to go on to the next slide. Now, the very last stage of the application process, it was going to ask for relevant experience. So I think, to be honest, this is the, this one 
is good to be truthful on this one because it will dictate how they treat you moving forward so if you have no trading experience i'd say you just put that you have had no trading experience so that means you've traded over the past three years at what extent have you traded the following product so if you haven't traded at all then you just put under 24 of those if you have then put just put whatever's relevant so i'm i'm going to put under 20 just because this character that i've created would not have had any trading experience and um here i'm going to put that independent or with advice so it says how have you mostly traded these products so if you say under managed funds that means someone is um managing your funds for you but um if you're doing it yourself which i'm assuming you are uh, then i put independently or with advice so um and what this does here is that if you put that you haven't traded much it's going to ask you to do a questionnaire so this questionnaire just really um asks you gives you ideas on um gives you makes you understand what trading is and how to trade it, it, so you have to answer the questionnaire if you put that you're experienced then it probably won't ask you to do the questionnaire so if you clicked here then you probably won't have to do it but i'd say it's good to do the questionnaire if you're new to trading because then it makes you learn at least a little bit before you get stuck into the um markets so um but if you want to skip it just put those um if that's what you've actually done so because you don't want to be lying on this uh um application form um and then professional educational experience do you have any experience qualified relevant to understand the product once again all this information that you're providing here will dictate if they make you a questionnaire or not so me personally i have experience but yes for a relevant role in financial institution i don't work in a financial institution so that's not true relevant professional qualifications so the reason why they ask you these questions is because then they they want to see if you're eligible for a professional account now if you're eligible for a professional account that means that you'll get um better margins margin uh, the margin and leverage that you have access to is better but that means that you also have less um safeguarding and protection because you're a professional trader so Personally, I think it's better just to trade as a retail trader rather than a professional trader because there's three stipulations. I think you have to have over half a million or you have to have to trade a certain size account or you must have worked in a financial institution. If you fulfill two out of those three criteria, then you can apply to be a professional trader. But for, their, but for new traders, you just put no. And then um, you click next. Then you've got the terms and the conditions. You just agree. Well, you read it first, but I've read it before. So you then, and then you can click on any of these just to read um, all the information regarding the T's and C's and the declarations that you're agreeing to. Once you've uh, you're happy with that, you click I agree to all, um, and then marketing reference. I like to receive information from IG. Um, depends on if you do. If you do, say yes. If you don't, say no. Um, I want to put no, and then you're finished. There's going to offer you to uh, create an account. Which one? What do you want to make your default account? Um, so what do you want to make your default account because I'm a spread better I say spread betting if you want to just buy and hold uh, stocks in a normal share dealing account you pick you can pick share dealing uh, if you don't know the difference between these two I've, I've got a video about it on my uh, trading 101 course that explains the difference between spread betting share dealing and CFDs and then you get started so I think it's imperative that you make sure that you use your real details when creating your account because I think this is the end of the road for me uh, when it comes to showing you how to create an IG account because the account that I created wasn't actually a real profile so and now it's asking for documentations for proof of identity so it wants a proof of address um, driver's license or passport something like that, that just to show that you're a real person obviously I can't provide that because the account I created was fake and that was for the uh, benefit of just creating this video but once you've provided the documentations, you can now have access to the dashboard. And then from there, you can start using the demo account or actually the spread betting account. But um, yeah, outside of that, I think that's everything that you need to know to create an IG account. I hope this video was useful. And if it was, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and hit that alert button to get alerts on all my latest videos. This is Any, aka The Not Trader signing out.